Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And if this video can get 500 likes within 24 hours, I am giving away $150 worth of goodies. So make sure you press the like button, subscribe and comment down below your favorite cryptocurrency because that is all you have to do to enter. Your comment will count as an entry, so keep that in mind. Today, I want to explore a couple of things, starting off with Ripple's partner Accenture picked by Bank of England to create new world-class payment service. Now, of course, I had to dive into what Accenture really is. I had to elaborate a little bit on my knowledge about the company. And what I noticed was that it's not no small company. It's not even a, a mediocre company. No, it is a behemoth of a company. Looking at this year, total equity 14 billion, total assets 30, net income 5, operating income 6, revenue 40 billion dollars in 2019. So this definitely is no small feat. Also, strategy and consulting, interactive technology and operations is really their services and what they do. And yes, in I guess kind of short, they're just a services company. And I mean, I knew they were I knew they were a services company, but really what they and to it and what it was all about that I, I guess I didn't really know too bad. Reading through it a little bit here, through service and operations, Accenture strategy provides business strategy, technology strategy, and operations strategy services. Accenture Consulting provides technology, business, and management consulting. Accenture Digital provides digital marketing, analytics, and mobility services. Accenture Technology focuses on technology software, implementation, delivery, and research and development, including its technology labs, for emerging technologies and Accenture operations focuses on as a service think about SAAS and BAAS model of service delivery this includes business process outsourcing IT services cloud services managed operations and security so again not no small feat and again you can check everything out here it's a huge company knowing that though they're handpicked by the Bank of England to create something I mean, that's pretty obvious because Accenture creates a lot of things and helps out. But more specifically here, new world-class payment service. So I guess that would fall really, really easily into Accenture's lane. Any service, easy, right? It's, the, it's what the company does. Bank of England has chosen Ripple's partner Accenture to build a new real-time settlement service on the basis of RTGS. I think you guys must be wondering as well, how is Ripple a partner of Accenture? What happened there? Well, all you have to do is just a little bit of an easy look at Ripple's history. And you would notice here that in 2016, in a Series B funding round, Standard Chartered and Accenture, and I guess a couple of other uh, guys, but at least those two, bought into Ripple. And they funded them, which is something, again, a lot of people are forgetting nowadays. That um, There's a couple of connections. For example, the SCB, SBI Holdings, Santander, CME, Seagate, Tetragon, SBI once more, Root City 6 Ventures. A lot of these guys, I think people didn't know, um, were into Ripple, all right? And they're really, really into it, and they're really, really out for the, the best success of them because they're heavily into it. And now the first couple of guys here, they're just a couple million dollars in. But these guys here, Tetragon, SBI, Root 66, and even Standard Chartered, Accenture, and all of those, they're in for a combined $255 million. No small thing either. Looking on a little bit, BOE wants to renew RTGS, the UK's key payment infrastructure, and what does Ripple have to do with Accenture? Bank of England has announced that professional services company Accenture UK, based in Ireland, will be helping the bank to design a new type of payment system that will be launching in two years' time. The Bank of England press office posted on Twitter, we can today announce that Accenture UK is technology delivery partner for the RTGS renewal program. We can add a whole article down below there. But yes, Bank of England wants to renew RTGS, which stands for Real-Time Gross Settlement, by the way. The news release published by the Bank of England states that the Bank of England has chosen Accenture as its technology delivery partner, and they will together work to create a new world-class payment service. And whenever I'm reading that, guys, I get a little bit excited because, well, Accenture, everywhere they go, they mention, they even have a big report. Where is it now? This one right here. With, or together with Ripple here, you can see. 
Accenture, Ripple, the journey to real-time cross-border commercial payments using distributed ledger technology. If you scroll a little bit downwards, you can see so much info. And one of the most interesting infographics is this one right here. Accenture's is payment scheme operating model framework. Really, really huge. But having that in the back of our heads, this becomes a lot a lot bigger of, a, of an idea and a lot bigger of a statement. The aim of the project is to renew RTGS, real-time gross settlement, this is a major payment infrastructure used by banks and other financial institutions. The system uses accounts that it holds for participants and transfers funds between them in real time and in a secure manner. The Bank of England has decided that now it is time to renew the RTGS. The UK's key payment infrastructure, that's the last part we have to read because the last part, well, we, we, we already knew, I guess, most of it. But one thing we didn't say since Accenture is not a payment platform but works in consulting, it offers Ripple's as products to its multiple customers from the financial services sector. So basically, even though they don't use it themselves in that regard, they're pushing it through. All right. And one of the major reasons for that, I would say, is that, well, Accenture is already invested in Ripple. So Ripple's success is also Accenture's success. So pushing Ripple through a lot of their partners is just one of the most amazing things that they could do. All right. Trying to not get distracted, let's go over with the UK's payment infrastructure. As a reason for the payment system's renewal, the source mentions the drastic change in the payments transferring system over the past years, which, among other things, requires changes in the technology, employed, and regulatory measures. RTGS is crucial for UK's national infrastructure and the country's payment system, and in one business day, it sees a staggering £685 million, a billion pounds pass through it. The goal of the renewal is to increase resilience and access and expand interoperability as well as to enhance user functionality and make end-to-end -end risk management stronger. So all of this here that they just managed to crop in a very, very small part is all what Ripple does as well. The only part about it is this right here. I mean, regulatory wise, I don't know how it works just quite yet. XRP is kind of too new to really fall into that lane. However, Ripple themselves, it really could be, be cooking up something here, which is really, really cool in my opinion. All right, then, by the way, there were some more things I, I noticed about Accenture. I've been looking up a lot of articles and a lot of things about Standard Chattered as well. You can see more and more connections from Standard Chattered with Ripple coming up as well. In the last couple of weeks, I've really been getting a little bit deeper into that. But uh, this is also a multinational banking and financial services company headquartered in London, and they're also working with Ripple. So... From that perspective, it's, it's, it's not so crazy if a real bigger bank, like the Bank of England, were to be working with them as well, or were to want to have something to do with them. It's not that strange. All right, then the tweet I just told you guys about, Ripple and XRP mentioned two times in official US bill proposals. It's a done deal, XRP the global currency. And looking into it, it's from December 2019. Now, at first I was like, well, why is he tweeting it out right now, right? What's going on? What's happening here? But I believe that a lot of the information that we get over the last, I guess, couple of months has not been processed properly just quite yet. You know, I think people are not really pushing it through far enough and, and getting it really, really inside their minds. And I don't know why yet, but I see it happening. A proposed bill on remittance insurance mentions Ripple and XRP as the newest developments in payment channels, increased cross-border remittances have alerted U.S. regulators to the opportunities for tracing and securing funds. So this actually ties in really, really well with Bank of England now, uh, trying to get this connection going on with Accenture, which could again involve Ripple. We don't know yet. I'm being too positive, I know, but it's something to think about. And also the fact that you have to combine all of this with the last two videos I made. One, talking about the U.S. falling. Second, about the big financial reset. Because this actually ties in with all of that really well, where the U.S. had a lot of proposals, right? A lot of bill proposals back in 2019 at the end of it. The problem is, and the, the, the bad side to it is, at that point from November on forward, the U.S. was kind of falling already in terms of trust, right? People were tr trusting the U.S. less and less and less. But one thing that they, I, I guess, didn't really fully uh, get to quite yet is understand the, 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 the amount of shit that would just happen over the next couple of months because really guys be honest with me here this was a, a really really bad year for the economy All right and a really really bad year for the trust in the u.s government and a lot a lot a lot of support for the new financial and great reset 
And I think the US didn't really recognize that just quite yet. And even with their bills, even though they gave it some small attention back then, I think if they were to get some new proposals going on now, uh, I think they would even be quite a lot heavier this time around, just because of all that has happened and all the friction that they see now in such a really, really fragile market. Bill suggests Ripple Network may work alongside Swift. Very often people are saying Swift and Ripple are going to be competing with each other. It's not necessarily the truth, all right? They can actually really work really, really well next to each other, working with each other, because as I said before, Ripple really, really works with framework, and sometimes working with Swift could be a better alternative than just Ripple alone. Ripple's payment network was mentioned as one of the vectors of growth in the remittance market. To quote, the continued growth and expanding partnerships of virtual currency companies such as Ripple, which offer both a payments messaging platform to support cross-border money transfers, as well as proprietary virtual currency XRP, which can be used to affect settlement of those transfers. Ripple was mentioned also in relation to being a system which could exactly predict the funds to be received. To quote once more, the Bureau also believes that expanded adoption of Swift's GPI product or Ripple's suite of products could similarly allow banks and credit unions to know the exact final amount that recipients of remittance transfers will receive before they send the transfer. And yeah, you know, I, I, I could understand how huge this could be and why, uh, why, why, why it's not that strange for this idea to pull through because it's amazing. Then this one, actually, the crypto poet just said on Twitter, 2018 crash, we're holding. 2018 to 2020 bear market, we're holding. 2020... 20 uh, crash, we're all holding. August 2020, somebody says, you're so lucky you got it under 20 cents. And of course, that is not the truth, right? It took a lot of hard freaking work to just hold through this very, very rough period. I think everybody is at a, a little point once or twice where they were like, is it all going to be worth it? But yes, guys, it is going to be worth it. It will be worth it for a very, very long while. And um, again, these prices are, are just very, very cheap in comparison to where we're going to get to. So be happy that you got in so early. They'll say you got lucky, but we all know that's not it. It, it took a lot of determination to hold through and to really buy so much of it anyway. Crypto Eddie just said on Twitter, SBI quarterly results just posted. SBI VC trade will begin derivative trading in August, along with plugging the B2C2 market maker for interrogation. Crypto fund weighed with XRP begins September. Expect more M&As for related synergy. Page 27, 28 of SBI Group. You can check it out yourself. But the most important part is this one right here. The crypto fund weighted in XRP that we talked about before will begin in September. So it's also really around the corner. And that's pretty damn good. It should be integration. I was like, man, why did you say uh, interrogation? But no, it's integration. Some people don't think XRP can reach $20. That's also something I see very, very often. You guys know I'm pretty much an XRP bull, but I'm not a shill, I'm not a, an unrealistic person. I would not tell you guys that $10,000 per coin is a guarantee or $500 per coin is a guarantee. It's definitely possible, but I'm, I'm just more so hoping for it and not really sure whether or not. Uh, we'll, we'll see that in our lifetimes, but okay. $20 per XRP though, as a realistic person, I see is very, very possible and will most likely happen. Some people don't think XRP can reach $20. At the 2016 halving, we were at $0.006. A year after, it reached $0.30. Cents. And then, a couple of months after, it touched $3.84, just a few months later. When XRP moves, it does so quickly and violently, $20 is conservative. And what I have to say about that is, a lot of guys... Never expected XRP to get to one cent even, all right? And Bitcoin to get to $10 even. The, the fun part about crypto is that there's no real, there's no real, uh, there's no real boundaries just quite yet for exactly where it can go. There's no real idea uh, of how far it can get. And that's actually one of the fun parts about it as well, where you don't really know exactly how high we can go and, and, and what it's going to be looking like in the future. Like, for example, five years from now, Will crypto be main adopted? Will it not be? Will it? Will Bitcoin be at a million dollars? Will it not be? I mean, everything is really possible if you think about it. Same for XRP. $10 per coin is really, really possible. But also uh, $1 per coin in five years is really, really possible. It could be that a Ripple will be working with all the major companies in five years. It could also be that they will just be 
you know, like a hundred percent further than they are now, but not really much more than that. It, it's also so new. It's stuff we've never seen before. And it also depends on if the US is going to fall, if the great reset will come, if a big market crash is going to be coming, because those things will always influence crypto prices and just generic investing uh, quite heavily. So yeah, that's something I'm really, really excited about as well. Just the thought that nothing is really certain. There's a lot of questions still. China aims to be the world's dominant blockchain power with help from Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. Now, together with the fact that there's not really any certainty that the future is going to be good for crypto, nor that it's going to be bad, there's also some growing concern for, first of all, regulation, but second of all, which is very important, the big debate over who is going to earn or no own cryptocurrency, who is going to own all the power, and what country is going to get to CBDCs first. And here, China's blockchain infrastructure, BSN, is set to provide global access to its services next month. The network's reliance on U.S. cloud service providers makes it vulnerable to geopolitical risks. And rising tension between the U.S. and China over the last several months could increase such risks. China's developments in other technology areas have already met with resistance from the U.S. government. And uh, yeah, there's a big debate about that going on as well right now. And then Bitcoin, no more selling pressure from $5.7 billion plus token Ponzi scheme as Chinese police arrest 82 members. That's the situation that is going on right now as well, guys. A lot of people were afraid of scams and of, I guess, people stealing their money or people being dumped upon. But I see less and less people complaining about, uh, what's it called now? About Ripple dumping or about Bitcoin being dumped heavily on, on all of us. I mean, normally... I think we used to see it like maybe once a day or so, an article about Ripple dumping on us. Same for Bitcoin, about some of the bigger whales or possibly some big conspiracy dumping on all of us. But I see it less and less and less. And especially as these scams are being cracked down. I mean, YouTube doing a very, very bad job. But the rest of the world doing a very, very good job on cracking these cryptos down and making sure that people can't profit from them. Binance is working on that. And a lot of other exchanges like OKX and whatever are all trying to help as well to put them down so... It happens less often. And that's one of the things I really think we need before global adoption can become a thing. We need to make sure that if you lose your private keys, you'll be able to get them back. And also, like I just said, that a lot of these scams won't be able to operate anymore because they're just so simple for people to fall to. Now, the send me one, I'll get you two back, the old classic RuneScape scam, that one might never be really, really patched, but at least don't show them on YouTube, right? Those things need to be fixed before the great adoption can come. However, a bull run can come before great adoption. That's something that people don't um, always think, but yes, it is the truth. But I guess for right now, we'll just see, and um, that was it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I just walked through my whole, whole floor here, just holding the laptop and talking because I'm getting crazy excited, guys.